All right, guys, so with the release of Queen of Man, as well as Man Island Cookie Magic Candy and Latte Cookie Magic Candy being out for about a week now, and with a lot of different comps coming out ever since the Prune Juice uh, Capsaicin, as well as Mala Sauce Cookie Magic Candy's release, I wanted to quickly talk about who you guys should be leveling up and who you guys should be focusing on right now in order for you guys to uh, not fall behind the meta or, uh, you know, at least uh, be able to win in a lot of the arena battles and also succeed inside of other game modes like the Cookie Alliance, the World Exploration, as well as the Guild Boss Battle. Of course, this is going to be more of a general guide and uh, my recommendations for you guys. Uh, and I will be uh, kind of giving you guys a tier list uh, in the next couple of days as well. Uh, but this is going to be more for the players who are really focusing on, hey, Hyrule, who should I really be investing in with the amount of resources that I have? And who are going to be the cookies that are going to be used throughout the meta still, all right, with the changes that has taken place. So let's quickly talk about the meta real quick first. The meta hasn't really shifted too much, guys. Uh, the arena is still filled with the standard, uh, you know, meta comp, which is going to be consisted of Hollowberry as well as a secondary tank, Moonlight, Stardust, as well as another healer. Uh, but it's just that the addition of different comps like the Atasby comp has been added to the meta tier. So in order to talk about the attack comps, I think it's going to be the best to go to the defense lock for my arena battles in order to kind of tell you guys, hey, yeah, these are going to be the comps that are still going to be used and you should still be using if you guys have the opportunity to do so. So keep in mind, you have five different slots for the attack as well as only one slot in the defense. That's why people are going with one general comp, which is going to be the standard comp to defend against a lot of different comps that are being used inside of the arena. So the best defense comp is still going to be something like a very standard comp or a kind of really, really confusing comp. Uh, but you guys can see right here that we still have the standard comp with something like this. Uh, Stardust Moonlight as well as Hollowberry and a secondary uh, tank with the healer and we still have something like uh, you know the uh, Tasby comp that are going around we still have the one shot comp and then we still have uh, as well the you know blueberry uh, stun comp uh, and also the uh, blueberry one shot comps that are still going around inside of the arena. So those are going to be the general comps that are still being used. So we have the standard Tasby comp with Queen of Man, Madeline, uh, Hollowberry, Moonlight, as well as a healer. We have an offensive one where we replace, uh, you know, the healer for another offensive, uh, you know, damage dealer like Vampire, Capsaicin, as well as Black Pearl uh, and things like that. And we still have something like this as very standard comp that are going to be used uh, with Brute, Capsaicin, Werewolf, uh, Purple Yam, and uh, Healer with Pure Vanilla and BTS. And then, of course, uh, we still have the one-shot comps as well. So, according to the arena, the ones that I really want to recommend you guys to uh, definitely, uh, you know, level up is going to be, without a doubt, Hollowberry, Pure Vanilla, Moonlight, as well as Stardust. And then, when you guys get the chance, leveling up Capsaic and Black Pearl are not going to be a bad idea. Frost comps are still being used, so you guys can level them up. But out of the epics, I definitely recommend you guys, if you guys have the opportunity to do so, then without a doubt, Queen of Man and Madeline are going to be the two that you should level up right now. Uh, Brute is here and there coming back. So as somebody who's able to have a guaranteed stun with this skill and a 50% chance every single time he's able to do a auto attack, he's definitely going to be a cookie that's going to come back here and there every single time. And with uh, the one shot com still being used, Space Donut without a doubt, as well as Captain Caviar. But right now, my recommendation to you is uh, do not level up your magic candy for someone like uh, Espresso, Rye, licorice uh, latte as well as milk uh, they have their usages but it's probably not going to be the best idea to level them up it is going to be way better to invest your uh you know magic candy materials on someone like squidding as well as cream puff and also someone like malasans and madeline a uh, werewolf and vampire and then also on top of that purple yam if you guys can as the magic candy all right so those are going to be kind of like cookies that you are used inside of the arena I uh, cannot forget about Wallberry as well. Uh, but now talking about generally the World Exploration as well as Cookie Alliance. I think talking about the Cookie Alliance is going to be the best because Cookie Alliance teams are going to be used within the World Exploration as well. Uh, so without a doubt, uh, we still have something like this going on, which is going to be the Guild Boss Battle. I have made a video on this, a full epic team, as well as we still have something like this that still works out pretty darn well, which is going to be the part of the standard team and, uh, of course, the Atasby comp as well. Uh, but for the World Exploration, generally, it's going to be that two tanks, uh, two DPS, as well as one healer is going to be enough uh, majority of the time. And still, without a doubt, the best tanks are going to be someone like Hollowberry, as well as someone like Brute, Wildberry, as well as Milky Way, Space Donut. 
And then for the DPSs are going to be someone like Eclair as well as, uh, you know, Squid Ink, Moonlight, Stardust. Um, and we still got Espresso and Capsaicin. And on top of that, the uh, very good tank for uh, the World Exploration as well as uh, the Cookie Alliance is going to be Molossauce with the 25% crit buff uh, that she has gotten with her release of the Magic Candy. So she's definitely not bad. She's someone that you should try to level up, um, you know, as you guys start to progress throughout the story, progress throughout your account. But generally, the cookies that are still used inside of the arena are going to be used in the World Exploration and the Cookie Alliance. Uh, so that is not going to be a bad idea to level up these cookies right now in order for them to be used for both the game mode. And lastly, talking about the guild boss battle. All right. So the guild boss battle is split up right now as well uh we have uh three different teams that are still being used still there are guild members still attacking the avatar of destiny but a lot of the guild members have uh switched out to red velvet dragon as well as the living abyss uh for the uh guild boss battle you know uh definitely without a doubt prune juice right now for the red velvet dragon as well as milky way uh space donor are being used and then um right now eclair as well as someone like you know, uh, we got Sherbet and then a healer like Pure Vanilla or Pomegranate are being used. I have videos on these uh, two teams as well. And then lastly, the Guild Boss Battle for the Living Abyss is going to be consisted of uh, Milky Way, Space Donut, Squid Ink, Captain Caviar, and Cotton. So uh, these epics are definitely going to be the ones that are going to be, uh, you know, should be focused right away. And also you guys can use them once again for the cookie alliance as well. So without a doubt, a lot of the meta cookies right now are, you know, uh, being used in every single uh, game mode. So it's definitely a lot easier for you guys to invest in. Of course, I will have to say generally, uh, you know, go and see who is being used in each of the game mode and invest in one that is going to be able to be used for everything like someone like Squid Ink as well as Pure Vanilla as well as someone like Space Donut. Uh, and you know invest your resources into those and then you guys should be able to slowly you know catch up to uh, whatever you guys need to uh, as you guys progress throughout the game and a lot of the other events are being used but uh, this is definitely going to be a general idea of what you guys should be focusing on and how you guys should be focusing on things and uh, without a doubt guys um, you know out of the epics right now uh, the ones that I do recommend is going to be Madeline Cookie as well as Queen of Man. And without a doubt, someone like Squidding, Cream Puff, Mala Sauce, Brute, Wildberry, Space Donut, and Milky Way. And uh, some of the ones that are going to be used inside of the Guild Boss Battle like Squidding and Captain Caviar. Anyways, guys, I know this was a lot, but I hope you guys found the video helpful. And also, I will be updating you guys with the tier list very, very soon. So... Uh, that is going to give you guys a more general idea of who you guys should be focusing on in a broader uh, case. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave any questions down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys all on the next one.